Sometimes we get easy jobs, sometimes we get difficult jobs. Today is one of those easy jobs. So I guess by looking at the thumbnail and looking at the um, title I gave this video, you can kind of surmise what's going to be in this video. But if you haven't read, this is it. So what we got here, we have MyCloud Backup. This is a NAS system that plugs into your network and gives you uh, network storage. And there's a drive in here. This is a target drive that we're going to use from this. So let's get onto this thing here. So this is MyCloud. Uh, they're okay. I mean, they usually put like a red drive in here. I think the client said they actually replaced the drive in this unit uh, to something else. Let me just zoom in here a little bit. So they replaced the drive and they, they keep getting emails uh, complaining that uh, there's a problem with, uh, with the drive. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the drive out and then we're going to clone it to another drive if it clones. Uh, and hopefully we put it back in and it's going to work. Now, I, I wasn't given the power adapter but this is just, just your typical western digital power adapter so yeah i can see this is going to be easy to open because it's been already opened so let's see if we can open it okay well that was easy so here's the drive so yeah this is not the original drive i know because usually like i said in these drives there's always western digital hard drives not these hitachi ones uh, that you can see here so uh, we should get, definitely, definitely get it. Get, so we should definitely get the drive out. What's this thing here? We should get this drive out, and then we're gonna check it with P3000, see what's wrong with it, and then we're gonna clone it. So before I go on, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I have a lot of videos on forensics and data recovery, and today is just one of those videos when it's data recovery. So don't forget to share and like these videos uh definitely drop a comment below it helps the channel a lot it takes you two seconds but it helps me a lot anyway i'm not gonna bore you with the uh, youtube bs so let's uh get this drive out of here how does it come out of here there's no screws here i'm guessing it's gonna pop out of here so the client wants to continue using this thing using this thing so uh we're gonna just we're gonna do just that uh let them continue using this but before we do anything uh let's get it unplugged from the this board and test the drive see what's wrong with it what do i need here i need some phillips got my powered phillips over here One, screw two, and there's a few more screws here. And that should do it. So let's have a look at this board first. Well, it's a good thing about this, these West Digital MyCloud. You can actually uh, reload a different firmware on these. I think um, this one is not mining the original firmware. I think uh, the client installed um, OMV on here. So this is not the original uh, firmware. Uh, that's actually kind of interesting. I've never seen this. So we got an ARM processor here. Let's, let's just examine this board here. We got an ARM processor here. This is probably from um, the gigabit connection here. Got some RAM. Uh, pretty simple. I guess you can probably duplicate this using Raspberry Pi, except you won't have uh, SATA and uh, gigabit. I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna have gigabit, but you won't have uh, direct SATA. You would have to build it yourself, but uh, pretty kind of cool. So yeah, so here's the drive. Uh, let's uh, take it over to PC2000 and look at the smart data and see if this drive is still good and whether we can clone it without any issues.
So he has the source drive and he has the target drive, both plugged into P3000. So we're gonna go from here to this drive. So we're gonna go from this drive to this drive. We're gonna do a complete clone in P3000. Hopefully we're not gonna encounter too many issues. So uh, let's just get into it right now and see how bad this drive really is. So here we are with P3000. I just uh, plugged both the drives in. They're just sitting plugged in. So let's just power on the, so let's hit power on port zero. That's This is where the, um, that the storage drive is sitting at, so it's busy and it should become ready in a minute here. So we get auto detect. I just want to check the smart data on this, um, on this drive. So yeah, it's actually three terabytes and then we're going to go view the really smart here. So let's see smart. I mean, smart is not always, um, accurate, but well, we're seeing some relocated, uh, sectors already. And then we see, uh, they're, they're pending and then the current. So. This drive is, you know, it's already hitting problems. It's got uh, smart uh, smart issues. It's got relocated sector count issue. Uh, so this is why our client was getting the the emails uh, from the unit complaining about the relocated sector. So uh, hopefully the drive will still image. So we're gonna exit this, and then we're gonna go into data extractor. So I have my source and target plugged in. So we're ready for imaging. We're gonna start a new case here and call it whatever. Uh, source is uh, this port. Gonna go next, gonna go next, and we're gonna have to move the drive over to a different port here. <clears throat> and port two on the data, <clears throat> and port two on P3000 is gonna be our target port. So we're gonna go next, okay. So here we go. Let's see if you can see the file structure here. So yeah, we got data here. I can see it. So we're gonna exit this. And we're just going to hit start on imaging and see, hopefully it hits uh, any bad areas it's going to deal with them. And then we can just take the clone drive, put it back into uh, my cloud and it should boot. Hopefully it might not. Okay. So we're imaging. I'm going to let this run uh, until it's finished. And when then, when it's done, uh, we're going to look at the bad sectors uh, that it hit during the imaging process. See, we're already hitting some before I could even stop recording. We're already hitting uh, some errors here. 106 skipped. No, that's not good. So this drive is having some problems. I might have to stop this and build a head map just in case. <clears throat> so we can see that I went back uh, to those bed areas. I want to see if we can read them again. It's not reading them. I, I guess uh, when I'm done imaging, I'm actually going to change the block size to something smaller and go back there again and see if we can get those 1081 that they didn't read. You can see the numbers dropping a little bit. Okay, so let's leave it imaging and then we'll, we'll come back here when it's finished. So I went back a little bit. So I wanted to reread those bad areas. So you can see I, I limit the block size to one. So now we got 949. So it's reading some of these ones here. And it seems like the only problem was the beginning of the drive. Uh, so it's correcting them right now. We're going to have few few that they did not read. Now I'm just hitting this area right here. Let's see what happens. So it's getting some of them. Green. Green. I also changed the timer procedure and I changed the um, error handling. So. Hopefully, uh, this will be good enough. Yeah, it's still going. It's still is doing all right. Okay, well, we'll leave it running and see what the total number is here when it's finished. Hopefully, this is the only bad area on this drive that uh, has this problem. So, what you can see here, uh, this drive has got some serious problems. You can see it hit some bad spots. Um, so I had to move over to uh, DeepSpark because we needed the P3000 for a few of the jobs. So I moved over to DeepSpark. So it's now at 1122 on red. You can see on top here. So we're just trying to correct these. And the way this uh, this drive is set up, there's two partitions. They're kind of in like a rate zero. So they have redundancy through a partition uh, where it's going to, if one one is damaged, the other one will, will boot. So this, this, this drive, when I put it back inside the enclosure, should boot. Uh, so let this thing finish, see if you can grab any more bad block, bad sectors, and then we'll move the drive over. So the imaging is done. You saw I ended up moving the drive over to uh, uh, Deep Spa over here because uh, we needed the, the ports on the PC3000 for some other jobs, so I had to move the drives around. But anyways, so this drive is done. The Hitachi, and then we're, we're image onto this drive right here, which is a Western Digital 4 terabyte. Uh, it's funny enough, Western Digital is going back into the Western Digital box, out of all things. Uh, so now we're gonna, I'm gonna, I won't reassemble it for the video, but I'm gonna just plug in the board and plug in the Ethernet and power and see if we can get 
uh, drive to show up on the network here because uh, if it doesn't show up, that means there's some issues with the uh, with the bad sectors where on the drive. Six, seven, eight bad sectors is not really much. It's should be okay. It, this drive should boot. Like I said, the, the way it's set up, there's two partitions set up and RAID 0 is, is almost like a fake RAID on a single drive. Uh, I think it's like a fail safe. When one's corrupted, the other one will, will work. As that's, what, that's what it looks like to me. So I could be wrong. But anyways, let's put it in and see if it works. <clears throat> okay, so we got the drives here. I got the uh, Ethernet cable. I'm not sure if I have a power cable for this. The client didn't supply one, but this should... Uh, this one here should actually work with uh, most Western Digital power supplies, uh, so I don't see why it wouldn't work. So yeah, let's uh, plug this thing in here. So that's plugged in. We got our Ethernet cable here. Now I need to just get some power for this uh, drive, for this board. <clears throat> and just so it happened, I had one laying right here. It's actually from another Western Digital drive. So let's um, plug it in here. Let's give it the power. I hear drive spinning up. So the drive is spinning up, so that's good. Uh, let's wait for it to... Um, Oops. Here's the drive is spinning. There's a light here in the back. You can't see on the camera. I can be move the camera around. Let me see if I can move the camera a little bit here. You can see there's a light right here. So this light is orange. I think it's supposed to turn green. So we're gonna wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna scan the network as soon as this becomes green. If it doesn't become green, then we're gonna have to do a recovery off this drive and um i guess give give the data on the <clears throat> give the client the data on it so we got a green light that means it's booted up that means it should be working and should be on the network <clears throat> but it might, it might not show up here on my phone because this is a different vlan versus what i have uh set up for my ethernet so it's probably not gonna be here no it's not here this is all wireless devices okay well we're gonna do it differently then vlan versus what i have uh, set up for my ethernet so it's probably not gonna be here no it's not here this is all wireless devices okay well we're gonna do it differently then and so here we go let's see i finally found the thing and i don't see it <clears throat> so i don't know i couldn't find the the my cloud on the network but there it is here we can see it it showed up on the network so uh, we can go in and browse the data i don't know what i can show because it's someone's information but uh, yeah everything's here sorry i gotta blur this out personal data but uh, it's working boot it up and everything's all right so yeah that was it it worked i'm glad it worked i gotta reassemble the whole thing now and uh let the client know that we're finished and uh, the drive is working I'm glad I didn't have to just do a recovery. I'm glad it's going to boot up and he can use this unit again because I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a uh, pain in the ass to get to set this up again. So uh, it's good it's working. So yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe, con the comment, like, share all that stuff. Maybe do it below. Um, commenting definitely helps and uh, thumbs up definitely helps for these videos. Helps the algorithm. And I'll see you in the next video.